Hey guys, welcome back. The Moot Wizard here with another episode. This is episode 20 of my new account playthrough on Gems of War. And we have some keys to open. I actually have uh, 10 vault keys now. If I go here to games and I go to my gnome vault, it says 10 vault keys. So I'm going to be opening these 10 vault keys to see if I can get Cedric. Uh, and if I do, that will be amazing because then I can fully trade them. I do have two wisdom orbs and uh, that'll make my teams really, really better. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna do that first and then we're going to go in and complete the Bright Forest quest line and unlock the class as well for that. So this one might be an hour, hour and 15 minutes. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try to go through this a little quicker, but I do wanna open those vault keys because I've been saving them up until we get to 10. So anyway here, we're going to open these gem and glory keys first just to see if we get any new uh, legendaries. We, we could have a chance to get a mythic. I don't have a mythic yet. And we didn't, <laughs> we didn't even get a legendary troop. So um, yeah, all of these troops, nothing really amazing here. Vinbaric uh, is not horrible, does damage to all enemies. But uh, there are other ones, too, that do that as well. Now, I do have some glory saved up, but I'm not going to be opening any of the glory. Because at this point, it's better to save glory to use it on uh, the new troop every week so that we can get arcane trait stones. And no legendaries from there either. So, all right. Uh, actually, I do have a uh, guild chest here I can open. We're going to open one of these. And we got an arcane trite stone. That's good. Nothing amazing. All right, let's go and open our vault keys. Now, we do have to be uh, careful here. I am going to use this team because I do uh, think this is pretty good for uh, getting that damage out there. Um... Because if any of these gnomes escape, then we won't get as much reward. At least as far as I know, that's how it works. And of course it's going to summon, but that's fine, as long as that last gnome doesn't escape, which we, we got this. There we go. Come on, Cedric Sparkle Sack. Are we going to get him? Ah, uh, we got the soul gnome. Completely useless to me. We got nine more keys to go. Come on, Cedric. Cedric is one of the best legendary troops in the game because uh, it will help you get gold much faster. Uh, and you definitely need gold in this game no matter what you're doing uh, for completing guild tasks, for upgrading your kingdoms. Uh, gold is one of the most important resources in the game. This time we got, we killed Cedric before he could uh, cause too much trouble. Yeah, there we go. Hey, we got an orb of chaos. That's nice. Hey, it's a orb of wisdom. Those are really nice this early on, because basically an orb of wisdom will unlock a trait on any card. So you could get a mythic card and you could unlock the last trait, which costs a lot of arcane trait stones. So it's really good to get those wisdom orbs. Mm. 
Might as well take that skull match. Boom, hey. Nice. That went by really quick. All right, come on, Cedric, 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 Cedric. Ah, come on. Treasure gnome. Completely useless. So we got the soul gnome. We got uh, the treasure gnome. But, uh, yeah, we didn't. I really, really want to get Cedric. Because I love gold teams. I don't have the skeleton key uh, weapon unlocked, but we do have bronze lock pistol, and that will work just uh, as good. So I'm not concerned about that at this point. But we're not even sure we're going to be able to get Cedric. Uh, I'm hoping that out of these 10 keys we're going to to get it but there's no guarantee so all right come on Cedric ah, another orb of chaos hey we'll take it orb of wisdom there we go we got six keys left we're almost halfway through oh my gosh Well, that's not nice. Well, we'll do that, and hopefully these guys don't escape. This one's not going as quick because I uh, wasn't getting the right mana combinations there. But we're doing okay. Yeah, I don't care if he summons those bomb bots. I just don't want the uh, gnome to escape. There we go. What are we going to get this time? 60,000 gold. Hey. That's nice. We got five left to go. We're halfway through our vault keys, guys. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Wow. on Cedric another orb of chaos hey another orb of wisdom well uh, I might have enough orbs of wisdom now to unlock all of uh, Gorgatha's traits and have enough left over for Cedric because I had two orbs of wisdom be to begin with and uh, I was thinking of unlocking Gorgoth's traits but then I thought well if I get Cedric uh, in the vault here then I'm going to want to use those orbs on Cedric but now we're getting a bunch of orbs so we'll probably have enough to do both Fifteen event keys, thirty thousand gold. Wow. We got three more to go. Yeah, we're probably gonna get Cedric with the last key.
making me anxious this whole time. Alright, we only got two keys after this. What's it gonna be? Yeah, we got a major orb of chaos. That's nice. If it's wisdom, that'll be even better. Yes! Major orb of wisdom. That means a major orb of wisdom will unlock every single trait on a troop. And we also leveled up. Wow, we're doing good with these orbs. We got a bunch of minor orbs of wisdom. We got one major orb of wisdom. All I need now is Cedric Sparkle Sack. Come on, Cedric. Ah, it's just another major orb. I really want Cedric. It's another major orb of wisdom. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm so rich now with those orbs of wisdom. Uh, but yeah, we got one vault key left. This is not, not good. I thought I had a pretty good chance of getting Cedric in the vault with 10 keys, but man, we're just going to have to make do without Cedric for now. I mean, the team that I am doing right here, the, uh, Behemoth, Browns Lock Pistol, and, uh, Leprechaun, and Divinia is a pretty good team. I've, I've been happy with it so far. It's been able to take on pretty much everything, uh, including dungeons. Um, you know, at least everything that I'm doing at my current level. Because I can't do high level explore battles with it yet. I don't have the right troops for that. Not yet, anyway. Ooh, we'll take that. And we'll do this. And then we'll explode. There we go. Okay, if Cedric isn't in this one, then we're going to have to save up our keys again. <gasps> oh my god. Did I not call that? I said we were going to probably get it in the last... <laughs> <laughs> and the last key that I opened. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so uh, we, we got Cedric. Hey, that's what I was in here for. We got all those nice orbs of wisdom. And then we ended up getting Cedric. And we got three celestial trait stones. Like, how lucky. Uh, dude, I, I'm getting so lucky on this new playthrough. I don't even know uh, why. It's just, it's crazy. But see right here, Cedric uh, gained 100% gold uh, bonus to gold from battles. This is what we want to unlock. And now we have like two major orbs of wisdom. So we can unlock this immediately with one of those. Uh, yeah, so I, that, that, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless like that. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, way to get my hopes up. And then right at the end, I was like, I bet I'll get it in the last key. And then <laughs> we actually did. I didn't, I didn't even really believe that when I said it, but hey, that's awesome. So let's go find uh, Cedric and unlock his traits. Uh, here he is. And upgrade traits. So see here, we... um. We need a total of 16 of these arcanes. We have four of them, so it would take me a long time to farm explore battles to get this, uh, all these arcane trait stones. But we have orbs of wisdom. I have five small ones and two major ones. We're going to use a major orb, but one strategy that you could use uh, is 
if you want to kind of save your orbs, you can uh, farm enough. Uh, you could farm like six of these arcane trait stones. So I would only need to farm two more. And then what you can do is unlock this with the minor trait stones. Don't use an orb on the first one. And then uh, use a minor orb on this second one because it takes 10 arcanes for this. And then this one only takes six arcanes. So to get the most out of your orbs, if you want to uh, save a lot of them, is to only unlock the second trait right here with a minor orb. And then just farm six of the arcane trait stones and then you can unlock that final one so that's a strategy that you can use and I don't know why but I was pointing at the screen over here and you guys can't see the screen that that like I'm pointing at I mean you can see the screen but you can't see like how I'm seeing it here so I don't know why I was doing that but anyway um, yeah so that's a strategy you can use but for uh, another strategy you could use is just unlock this first one with your minor trade stones and then just use two minor orbs to unlock these two uh, instead of just using a major to go all the way. But uh, I think it's worth using a major orb on um, Sudrek. I think he's totally worth it. So I used the major orb because I have I had two of them. That was we got we got everything we needed. We got Cedric from the Vault Keys. We've got the the Major Orb to unlock its traits. So now all of its traits are unlocked. We're gonna be able to get that bonus gold, and we're gonna be able to do uh, so much more amazing things with this troop. We're gonna level it up. We had enough souls to do that, so that's good. Um, but yeah, wow. Wow, okay, so Gorgotha too, as long as we're in here, we might as well use some orbs on this. Um, and yeah, we might as well. And instead of using a major, we'll just use a couple of these minor ones. Let's use two of these. Gorgotha is totally worth it. Uh, there we go. Now we have uh, the reduced damage from skulls by 75%. Gorgotha is totally worth uh, trading. And another one I might consider doing is Kristanax because he's immune to Entangle and reduces damage by 50%. And he gains enchant when matching purple gems. Um, does damage to all enemies. Has a summon. It's a really good legendary troop. I would say uh, later on in the game when you're high level it kind of loses a little bit of its usefulness. Not entirely, but I would say early to mid game it's one of the better uh, legendary troops that you can have in your uh, collection. So I might unlock the traits on that one later. I do have enough orbs, but for now, uh, let's go try to make a team with uh, Cedric. So let's go in here in this quest line. We're going to do Bright Forest, uh, and we now have 21 kingdoms unlocked. Let's do this uh, class quest here, but we're going to go in and modify this pistol team. And... Um, yeah, Davinia we're probably going to replace with Cedric. And we'll have to move these around a little bit. I did really like that team, but, uh, you know. Davinia is a great legendary for sure. Um, but now, Behemoth, I might want to switch him out with something different just because the colors are blocking each other here. So what other legendary troops do I have that can do damage? Pretty much all my high damage uh, legendary troops are uh, either have brown or blue. <laughs> you know, Behemoth is both the colors of Bronze Lock Pistol. Um, King Avlorn has blue. Kristanax has blue. Matron Dragatani has uh, brown, which is going to get blocked. So I could use Sagar Saguaro here. Um, but. Hmm. I don't know. That does 15 damage to all. This is 22, the weakest. Uh, plus this, da -da. huh, yeah, 
but the green is also being blocked by Leprechaun, and we do want to cast Leprechaun a couple of different times. So we almost want to set something up like that, and then uh, Behemoth here. Man, I really wish I had a legendary troop that did high damage that was not brown or blue. Any troop, really, I don't. I don't have a troop like that yet. Uh, this one creates blue gems after it does damage. Hmm. I mean, the blue is going to go back into my pistol, so uh, we could try using that. But I'm kind of curious about Kristenax, honestly. Uh, we could recruit that. Green is being blocked by Leprechaun, though, and the blue is being blocked by the Bronze Lock Pistol. Um, and if I put Dragatani in here, the purple's blocked by Leprechaun, so... <laughs> nothing, nothing I have here, really. Uh, and I'm not going to use Gruz the Undefeated, because 12 damage to one enemy is just stupid. It's not good at all. Um... Yeah, the only other option would be Saguaro here. But... Eh. Anyway. Let's just go in and try this team a little bit. Just see what happens. The main thing that Cedric is going to be doing is boosting the amount of gold that we are collecting. So up here at the top you can see there's a maximum now of 200 instead of uh, 100. And this, when it gains 20 gold, is actually going to gain 40 gold, as you can see right there. Uh, so all I have to do is cast this a couple of times. It's already up there to 80. And of course, we can always cast this, do a little uh, charm. Um, but the Bronze Lock Pistol right now, I do not have upgraded high enough with uh, my Arcane Trade Stones. And that's something that will also increase our amount of gold that we gather. Because if you unlock the final uh, ability on it, it will gain 10 gold every time you cast it. So, now, instead of using um, Leprechaun, Greed is like the, the other main troop that we use in order to... Get that initial gold but I don't think green is as good this early on because its gold is boosted by the amount of life that it has and uh, doesn't have a lot of life when you're this early in in the game but the thing the thing that makes Cedric really amazing here is well one it's gaining a lot of uh, it's allowing you to gain more gold but the more gold that you have up here at the maximum, the more gems are going to get destroyed on the board with your Bronze Lock Pistol. And that is going to generate more mana for all of your troops. And it should allow the pistol to cast itself over and over uh, very quickly. It should fill up almost instantly once you have enough gold. But... Like I said, we don't have the Skeleton Key yet. I probably should do battles with the Thief class just so that I can try to uh, unlock that. Because if we unlock the Skeleton Key, man, we can do some higher level Explore battles with that. Uh, along with uh, using the Egg Thief. I can just keep using the pistol and see at this point there's like it's almost filling itself back up. And it's doing a little bit of uh, extra damage. The more gems that it destroys on the board, uh, it will do a little extra damage because it's destroying skulls. So for every normal skull that you destroy, it adds one damage. And for every Doom Skull that it destroys, it adds 5 damage to its skill. 
uh, or it's it's yeah, because right here it's 16 uh, damage, but for every one of those skulls that it's destroying, it's doing a little a little more damage. And of course, you can always uh, stop and get yourself uh, connect one of those skulls. But just like what happened right there, the skulls came down and connect when I destroyed the board. That is uh, something that's really, like right there, uh, that's something I really like about the bronze lock pistol or just uh, things that destroy or explode gems on the board is that it really gives you a lot of extra hidden skull damage because those skulls are going to come down and connect. So bronze lock pistol is one of my uh, most favorite weapons in the game and the team here with Cedric. Uh, the more legendary and mythic troops that I get in the game, this team is going to become even better. And the higher that my troops get, uh, we're going to substitute, uh, we're going to switch out uh, Leprechaun with Greed eventually. And we can have a really, really versatile uh, team here. Let's see, we'll do this one, that's damage to all. And uh, let's do this so we can get some extra gold. And we could do this. And they're almost all dead. And now we're going to explode almost the whole entire board. So, yeah, this team's going pretty good. We're using Kristen X. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of damage out of them because his mana is getting blocked a little bit. But uh, any mana that overflows, and it will happen, because once the pistol gets full, once Leprechaun gets full, you're going to have uh, that extra mana that will go down and fill it up anyway. Some nice skull matches there. And, uh, yeah, we can just do that. 200 extra glory from that glory gnome. That was nice. So there's nothing stopping me now that I have Cedric. Uh, except I need to... I really do need to unlock the um, skeleton key. Which is going to take me 250 battles. So I probably should be using that instead of... Uh, Titan. But Titan gives me barrier on brown matches, and uh, it starts with half mana for me right now. So, you know, it's kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of addicted to using Titan right now. I don't really want to switch, but if I want that skeleton key, I'm going to have to. So, let me go in here and edit the team, and let's see if we can, let's equip our thief class. Why don't we do that? Oh, I don't have it unlocked yet. So yeah, let's just <laughs> let's just stick with uh, uh, Titan then, cause yeah, that's right. Cause I don't, I'm not to that kingdom yet. So once we get to that kingdom, then we can equip it. But I really do need more legendary ingots so I can upgrade my bronze lock pistol, cause this will be going a lot quicker. Uh, than it is because with Cedric in there I would be gaining an extra 20 gold every single time that I cast bronze lock pistol uh, So every time I would cast it we'd be gaining more gold and that would mean that every time I cast it again uh, we would be We would be um, Destroying more gems on the board So let me go in hey we got an arcane trait stone kind of zipped past that but yeah, that's nice um, let me go in and take a look at how much more ingots I need. Go to edit, go here, go here, uh, upgrade weapon. So I have 18 legendary ingots right now, and I need a total of 45, because as you can see right here, Prosperous gained 10 gold. Uh, plus we can burn the first enemy, deal 5 damage to the first enemy, destroys a gem. Uh, but I could actually go here and we can gain one magic and we can gain some attack too. That'll help. We can gain six attack. So I should just unlock this. Uh, that way uh, we'll be doing more skull damage as well. 
but let me go wait wait a minute let's go back in and take a look at this okay so i need uh 30 more legendary ingots and once we get down and unlock the underworld that's where we can start to get those legendary ingots and uh, that'll make this more powerful and i think i still have to upgrade my uh, mountain crusher so that'll make that even more powerful Now, uh, Kirsten X is getting mana blocked, but if I did unlock his traits with uh, those Orbs of Wisdom, I would be able to enchant it on purple matches. But with this team, it probably doesn't matter because we're using the Bronze Lock Pistol and Leprechaun to get everything full pretty quickly. So I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot. Not with this team, anyway. So, yeah, upgrading that weapon helped out, because now we're, we got uh, 33 attack damage up there. We gained 6 attack, which, when we get those Skull Cascades coming down, it's really going to... That's going to give us that extra, extra damage. And with Cedric, you know, doing these quest lines, you basically get, like, no gold at all. So we're actually getting a little bit of gold in there, 300 or so. Cedric is helping us do that. But when you're in PvP, uh, Cedric will, will definitely, especially with a team like this, uh, you know, you're going to get more gold out of PvP, which uh, really, really does help. Because you need gold for almost everything in this game. From uh, guild tasks to upgrading your kingdoms to um, just all sorts of stuff. And you can use gold to buy keys. Uh, so all of that stuff's really important. Yeah, the only other way we could get those legendary ingots is if we uh, come across a gnome, one of those mech gnomes, and uh, I think that's how I got my uh, first legendary ingots. So, uh, but those things are kind of rare, uh, and we don't have a vault weekend right now. So, yeah, we're kind of sometimes they show up even when you don't have a vault weekend, but they are more rare. nice yeah but that that was uh, <laughs> that was pretty amazing I have to admit I don't think I've ever had uh, that amount of good luck opening vault keys this was the very first time in this new playthrough that I even opened vault keys because I was saving them up until I had 10 of them so this was the first time that I was uh, opening them. I wanted to make sure I had a good enough team that was strong enough so that the gnomes didn't escape on me. And uh, so that's kind of what I was waiting for. And I just figured saving up until I had 10 of them would be a good number. But the fact that uh, we got Cedric on that very last key was mind-blowing. Uh, I'm so, so happy about it. Like, you can't even imagine, like, playing this game. Yeah, there's a lot of great troops in the game. Um, and you can still enjoy the game without Cedric. But Cedric is just, it's one of those troops that I just, I think is an absolute must uh, in your, your collection. And that's the only place that you can get Cedric. You cannot craft Cedric with diamonds. So... 
the only way that you would even if you wanted to like pay to win it and and somehow buy Cedric I don't even think there's an offer to buy it what you would have to do is buy enough uh, gems or vault keys because sometimes uh, sometimes they will have um, flash sales where you can actually purchase vault keys and so you just have to keep buying vault keys like crazy until you until you had enough I don't like this spirit fox what the hell is it a spirit fox yeah it keeps doing true damage and it keeps uh, keeps draining the mana on my weapon it's really annoying This is like the first team in, in this quest line that's been really annoying to me. There's all these charmers, mana drainers, they had stealthy. Yeah, the reason why we exploded Leprechaun a bunch right there, and we're doing it again, is because we're trying to get that gold up there as high as possible. Uh, once you do that, it makes your uh, key just really, really amazing. Uh, the key weapon, once you get it, or bronze lock pistol like this, it makes both. Man, I'm getting a lot of these nice uh, skull cascades here. That was because of Scylla. That's what that was from. So, yeah, uh, the other thing that I have been thinking about uh, was, it's a long ways away because I just started collecting diamonds because I opened up uh, my dungeons uh, like a week ago, about a week ago, but I haven't really been consistent about coming in here every day and doing my dungeons. Um, which I should be, but, you know, uh, I do have my main account that I'm still doing my all my daily stuff on, and, uh, you know, life, so, this, uh, this second account is just kind of like something I can have fun with, uh, starting over, uh, see what it's like to start over, and kind of use my knowledge of playing the game for as long as I have. Uh, to kind of point out to new players what they should be doing. And I hope it does help some people because I remember back in the day when I started and uh, just ever, there's so much to this game that it's just confusing. You don't know like what troop combinations are good and Like, I didn't know Cedric was a troop that I should have been trying to get. You know, I should be collecting as many of those vault keys as possible and trying to get Cedric. I didn't know um, for a long time the gold key teams with uh, the skeleton key. Well, actually, I remember when the skeleton key came out. So there was a there was a time when I when I was playing the game back when uh, bronze lock pistol was a thing and. Uh, we would use Cedric, Bronze Lock Pistol, and then there's another troop called Bonnie, which is like this pirate troop. Uh, and that was, I think that was like the first gold key, a gold team uh, that I remember uh, is with Bonnie and Bronze Lock Pistol. And I was able to complete pet battles with that team. So that was pretty fun. I was like, wow, you know, that, that, that was like the first gold team that I experienced that was like really amazing. And then they came out with a skeleton key and that just blew my mind away about how how powerful it was. And I thought for sure that the devs were going to nerf it. But no, they, they never have nerfed the uh, skeleton key. And good for them. Good for them because, you know, there's... It's kind of like it's player's choice. Like you can... You can play this game and do just about all of the content with the Skeleton Key team if you wanted to. 
but you know most people get bored of using the same team over and over uh, and but you know it's nice to have the option there to have kind of this cheap option um, with the skeleton key you know oh, I got this stupid spirit fox again This spirit fox and spirit fox is you know really annoying because they drain mana do true damage but they're also very low mana cost so they fill up really fast uh, which r makes them even more annoying so yeah uh, we're getting uh, kind of close I think well we spent like a good 15 minutes opening keys and doing the vault so um, we might only be halfway through the quest here I was kind of hoping uh, we would be able to get through this quest a little bit quicker but yeah plus I was uh, it was like 15 minutes for uh, opening the vault keys and then we spent like probably a good five minutes gushing all over uh, the fact that I got Cedric and then unlocking his traits so uh, yeah that's probably why this quest line seems like it's taking a little bit longer because I'm usually getting pretty close to ending my quest line at like the 40 minute mark that's what I've found is that I get it takes me about 40 to 45 minutes to go through one of these quest lines which is it's 24 uh, about 24 battles for each quest line when you think about it it's actually a long time because I don't know there's like at least uh, there's at least 30 kingdoms in the game there I think it's more like 34 um, but when you think about it if it takes an hour 45 minutes to an hour to um, to complete each quest line for each kingdom that's uh it's like 30 hours just to co just to finish all of your quest lines and then you know you're probably going to be doing events in between that and you're going to be doing pvp so there's just you know you're going to be putting if you really really want to you know get serious about leveling up to like level 1000 be prepared to put hundreds of hours into this game Let's see where we are on the quest line here. Quest progress. Oh, hey, we are, uh, we're pretty close right here to the boss battle. We got a couple more battles, I think, like one or two. So yeah, I actually did go through that pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> it probably gives us Cedric. You know, this team right here with the uh, Leprechaun, Bronze Lock Pistol, it's it's a great team. But of course, um, Scorpius can do lethal damage if I'm poisoned, and I am poisoned. So this is gonna it's gonna turn out uh, really bad for me if. Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay, he can destroy those two, but then I'll destroy him. And then uh, we'll do this. And then we'll do this. I only had two life left. Uh, hey, we did it though. Defeat Queen Titania. So we got one more battle, I think, here. And then we should be able to unlock the class quest. Uh, and do that really fast. And then we will be uh, done with episode 20. Yeah, 
Yeah, Leprechaun is also one of the best troops in the game. It's good early on. It's good uh, all the way to when you're high level. It's just one of the best ways to generate mana right away at the beginning of your, um, your battle. Because it, uh, it only takes three arcane trade stones to fully unlock its traits. And so you'll be able to empower it. It'll be uh, powered up immediately from the beginning of your turn. And then you can just, you know, cast it immediately, generate that mana, and you're good to go. Yay, we did it. Unlocked that. This is the free troop. Uh, seven damage to an enemy boosted by enemy face. Summon either a silver draken or a crystal axe. Um, you know, summoning crystal axe, that's, uh, that's good because it can summon a legendary troop here, but... Uh, as for its damage, it's not really that amazing. And congratulations, you have unlocked the following kingdoms. Leonis Empire, Sin of Mirage, Wild Plains, Black Hawk. Uh, and we have unlocked the Soul Forge. Visit the Soul Forge, craft troops, weapons, and more. Uh, so that's really great. We unlocked the Soul Forge. Uh, before we go and check that out, let's go and unlock the Hierophant class. This is the class that is associated with the Bright Forest Kingdom. We just have to do these four battles and then we can unlock it. No, I was hoping it didn't do that. Get charmed, buddy. Because it just drained all the mana from my, uh, my weapon. But that's why Leprechaun is good. Leprechaun for the win. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta kill this thing. No! Okay, it hit something else besides my weapon. I don't like those troops, man. Those mana draining troops. They're really, really annoying. Level 150. Last battle. Actually, I want to try. <laughs> I want to try something here really quick. Uh, base rarity. Let's do a level. Uh, and and right here, I have another leprechaun. I'm gonna put two leprechaun in there. <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. Okay, because we weren't really using Kristenax that much, honestly. So our only damage here <laughs> is uh, our weapon. That's totally fine. But the, the benefit of having two Cedric here is that we're going to be able to cast, or, or not two Cedric, two Leprechaun. 
Whoa, look at all those skulls. Holy smokes. Uh, is that we're going to be able to cast Leprechaun more often? And we're going to be able to get that gold up there quicker? Which will allow us to destroy the board faster. Thus doing more damage per second. And we have unlocked the class, Hierophant. So if we go in, let's collect your tribute real quick. Boop. And we'll go here, class, Hierophant. Where are you? Here you are. So the Hierophant, is it good? Is it not good? What is it? Uh, Summer's Wonder is the weapon for it. Deals 22 a true scatter damage boosted by fey allies and enemies. If an enemy dies, grant all allies two random positive status effects. Um, so true scatter damage is pretty good in some cases, but um, it's better the fewer enemies that are left. Now this weapon is going to be you going to be uh, its damage is going to be better if you have an all fey team so you'd have to find four other fey um, allies to use for it because you get a boost of eight damage per fey ally so four times eight you'd get that much extra true scatter damage uh, 14 green mana cost and uh, let's take a look at his traits traits Reduces damage from spells by 25%, and then and finally here the last thing, it uh, will have a 25% chance to grant a random positive status effect to a random ally when my turn begins. That's okay, it's not fantastic. Um, you know, Silent Sentinel, uh, or the, not Silent Sentinel, but the Sentinel class is much better because there's a 25% chance to barrier. This is a 25% chance of any positive status effect, which includes things like Blast, Reflect, Barrier, Enchant, um, you know, all of those types of things. Uh, so there's lots of different uh, possibilities there. And some of the positive status effects, like Enchant, is not as good as Barrier. Um, so anyway, moving on here to the uh, talent trees. We do have the Fire Talent Tree, which at level 100 always has Fire Blade. And Fire Blade is really great for uh, dealing damage to burning enemies with your hero class. It'll do triple skull damage to a burning enemy. Now the problem with this class uh, with using Fire Blade is that there uh, is no way um, in its traits or talents or any of that to mitigate skull damage. And if you have this at the first part of your team, that's kind of what you want when you have that Fire Blade talent. Uh, but that aside, looking at the rest of its talents here, it has the life talent tree and light talent tree. I, I like life better than light, honestly. Uh, but light does have a few good things for early uh, players. Things like uh, leading light, 10 armor if you're in the first position. But generally, I would say, uh, let me just go over a build here really quickly. Resilience is good, the best one at level 1. And then uh, your best one here for level five is probably going to be leading light if you have it in the first spot. If you don't, purification is going to be the next option there. And uh, the best one here is probably, I mean, it's kind of a, these two are the best, brilliant aura and fast healing. But uh, I would probably go fast healing um, just because your hero class is, is, you know, your most important troop in the team. And then for level 20, you have the choice of two different uh, storms that you can start. A fire starter, which is a, a firestorm, or you have a light storm. Uh, depending on what uh, color of troops are in your team, that can be really good, especially if you include a troop like Leprechaun that's empowered, and you can explode the board immediately at the beginning, and then that storm will uh, really help you out fill up your, your troops. So then the best one here uh, in 40 is probably Healing Herb. You're going to gain four life whenever you match green gems. And then you have a bonus to three different colors of mana here at level 70. You have red bonus, yellow bonus, or green bonus. So depending on which uh, you know troops you're using in your banner, you will select uh, the best one there for you. And then finally at level 100, Fireblade is probably the best talent. Uh, if you are running a divine team, then divinity is, is pretty good. 
Um, or if you're doing all phase, which this is a fey class, you can do eternal summer to gain two life every turn with all your fays. But Fireblade is without a doubt the best one at 100. So those are the best uh, talents for this class. It's not a horrible class. It's not bad. But uh, there are uh, more useful classes early on and uh, later in the game. You know, I always recommend Titan class is number one. Uh, and that's what I'm leveling up here. Get it to 40. And this is the first class that you want to use. And then move on from there to uh, unlocking. Stormcaller is very important because of the, the storm that it does. Uh, Sun Spear is very important wherever that is right here because of the red storm and thief class is really important because of that uh, skeleton key team uh, team and you get the key from doing uh, leveling up that class so those are some of the, the better classes that you can get uh, early on and level up anyway that's it for that now um, yeah let's go take a look at the soul forge because I just unlocked that soul forge and uh, so you, I, I, to, I totally forgot about this because this it's been so long since I've gone through this process. You actually do have to level up your Soul Forge in order to be able to uh, craft certain things. So I can't, I can't craft any troops right now because I have to level up my Forge. So you, you want to, and how you level it up is by doing battles. You get kills on enemies. Then you can, as you can see right there, I, I had enough kills to level it up one. Uh, so you want to come in here after you get the certain amount of kills and level this up. Now you could speed it up with, with gems, but I don't recommend it because it's going to take you a long time to save up your diamonds anyway. So what you want to do is you want to come in here and you want to see how many kills you need. I need to kill 60 troops. So once you, uh, you, know, once you do a couple of quest lines, uh, then you want to come in here and you want to check this again. And once you get those 60 kills, you'll be able to level it up uh, to level 2 for free. And you want to just keep doing... You want to keep doing that, and I think the maximum level is level 10. Uh, you just want to keep doing that until you get it all the way up to maximum level, and then you will be able to uh, craft uh, some troops and things in here. But as you can see, I have only have 562 diamonds right now, and so we have, uh, we're only about a, f ooh, 4,000 diamonds is a mythic, so... Yeah, we're not even a fourth of the way to uh, crafting a mythic yet. So, uh, hang on, I hit the wrong button. I was going to take a look at what troops are in here. Um, yeah, nothing nothing good here, really. Cyclops is okay, but uh, it's not, not worth spending any of my uh, jewels for. So, all right, guys, this has been a blast. This is the end of episode 20. Uh, we got Cedric, a, a Sparkle Sack, which was amazing. We got some Wisdom Orbs, a couple of Minor and a couple of Major in that vault. Uh, we, uh, I mean, the highlight of this entire video, uh, this episode, was uh, <laughs> getting uh, Cedric Sparkle Sack in that last key. That was just, it was just amazing. Uh, so there was that, and then we went ahead and we completed the Bright Force quest line, unlocked the Hierophant class, went over that, uh, and yeah, so th this, this episode's been pretty fun. We do have Cedric now, so once I get to unlocking the Thief class, we can start using that to unlock the Skeleton Key weapon, and really make a good team out of that, so... All right, yeah, in the, uh, we're going to, episode 21, we have uh, more kingdoms over here to do. Uh, we have uh, Leonis Empire and these guys up here. And then uh, once we complete those four, then we got these four up here. And Zygen is where the Skeleton Key is with the Thief class. So we do have another four episodes uh, until we can get to uh, that uh, Skeleton Key. Uh, but we still have to do the 250 battles once we unlock the class for it. But at least we can get to the point of unlocking the class so we can start using it. So four more episodes until we get to that point. And then we have these four kingdoms up here. And then I think there's another uh, four kingdoms like over here. And uh, then, yeah, that then we'll finally have all of our kingdoms unlocked. I can't wait until I get all of those kingdoms <laughs> unlocked. Uh, then we can start to do a little more, more fun stuff like uh, some delve runs and showing you guys uh, a simple team that you can use down there for some of those delve runs where you can get more souls, glory, and uh, those ingots to upgrade your weapons and all that fun stuff. So, 
All right, it's been fun, and this is the end of episode 20. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.